What's going on guys? Uh, today I recently downloaded, uh, well not today, but I recently downloaded a um, Ubisoft RPG game called Child of Light. Um, I was a little skeptical, uh, so the ratings came out for this on several websites. Uh, most websites gave it a really good rating, so I mean, Ubisoft always has a way of providing a really, really good story. Um, for example, Assassin's Creed. I enjoyed all of the Assassin's Creed stories, uh, not the endings, but the stories, and I uh, figured why not, an RPG Ubisoft doesn't seem like too bad, plus it got good ratings, so might as well check it out, so let's go. I'm gonna do this in normal. I'm a big fan of RPGs, uh, I saw a couple reviews on this, so to me it seemed like, it looks like a really decent game I'm not sure if it deserves the best rating that I've seen so let's get into it child tuck yourself in bed and let me tell a story of Lemuria a long lost kingdom and a girl born for glory in Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke Aurora was his daughter child of a duchess mysterious beloved by her father he raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart, till the Duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the Duke, his new bride at his side. That night Aurora went to sleep. The fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. Okay, rhyming now. At dawn they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. All this Dr. Seuss rhyming stuff, and it's... it's... Okay, well... Wow. cartoonish but the graphics will look really I mean in my opinion they really do fit so that's the intro I guess <laughs> um I'm not too sure where the story is gonna go I mean this is my first time playing through it so I just want to kind of get the feel for it. Like always, I'm always going to start a game, play through it, maybe record a video or two. And then if I like the beginning 30, 40 minutes, I'll keep playing. Girl and the Firefly. I'm not gonna lie, the graphics right now, I mean, they might seem like they're not all perfect and whatnot, but they really do fit. I just can't put my finger on it, they just fit. <laughs> it's the game. Not sure if I'm going the right way, but well, so far I only know how to jump.
both sir and she. I see where this is going. There's going to be a lot of rhyming and stuff in the text. This is like Final Fantasy. Got this. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Mind you. Oh no. Experience and everything. All right. This is definitely the type of RPG I'm into. I cannot not ask for much more. I'm just gonna run into it. I wanna get the hang of battles. Battles. Let's go.
like new skill. Holy shit! Ubisoft was not messing around when they made this game. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I can't switch. So, this one. So, so. already got slash and defend. Uh, starlight. What's this? Light ray. That's time. Be a starlight. Sure, what I should go first, but just do this. Seems like the most logical. Oculi inventory confessions. Wow. Can I make it? Ugh. Can I make it? This girl can't jump. Probably that heavy ass sword she's got right there. Fireflies. Strike. I don't want to. That's it. He went down in one hit. Nowadays you have too many MMOs and whatnot coming out. That's right, bitch! Wait a minute. Oh, man. Thought I had a surprise attack. Okay. It's uh Oh, there's two of them. characters an RPG has, the more fun it is. If you put one character in there, you're kind of doing what Final Fantasy XIII uh, 3 did. I just don't necessarily think that game did a good job. But I'm not here to talk about that. Let's talk about some ass kicking. system is uh, really quick if I can say that usually in RPGs it takes a little bit even to get to probably level 10 it looks like I'll be hitting level 10 
uh, probably, probably by the beginning of the next video, if not this video itself. Depending on how long I actually take. Which, yeah, probably won't. But next video I'll probably be like 10. Let's see. Uh, magic upgrade. Strength up. Let's go for here, because I want that strength upgrade. Um, this defense. Okay. What? I have another one? <laughs> okay. -da. Wait a minute. Two player. Okay. Alright, well I guess uh, there's this is a two player game where one player can take control of... I can't fly yet. I don't see the point of making it two player because one person would basically just be controlling the firefly and the other person would just be doing everything. Not good with puzzles. Please. to improve character stats. Okay. I have no clue what the hell this is. Uh, let's see. Um, just gonna do a random axe mixture. Diamond? At, oh, okay, all right. Let's see, what did I just craft? Increase speed by one. Physical damage adds light to me. Let's do this. Physical damage. Let's do that. Asian. HP. It's MP. Increase magic. What do we got? Let's do casting speed. This is very, very. It's amazing the, the, the different factors they put into this game, how many things you can do. Um, I'm really, really excited about having this game and I'm interested in playing a little more. I'm definitely liking it. Uh, there's certain things that they put into this game, like the skills, as you can see right here, that you just build Aurora into. Choose what skill she gets. I always like games that have the skills in them. Uh, the Oculi, this is interesting, is that you can customize, to a certain extent, the weapons and the, the gems that you pick up. I'm just gonna call them gems. That's all I know. What the hell? Where did I get all this? 
Bigel Star does permanently increase speed by one. This is definitely a great RPG, guys. Uh, anyways, I'm going to cut it off here and hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to Child of Light, then you're probably just like me. The reviews probably hold some sort of uh, truth to them. So hopefully it continues to get better and better. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.